Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Nurse Life TV. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. To all my old subscribers, thank you so, so much for sticking by me. The comments, the like and everything, I do appreciate, okay? So please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and like the, I mean, like the video and then keep sharing, okay? So I just graduated from Chamberlain University. So I'm making series of video about Chamberlain University. And in this video, I'm going to try to cut to the chase, make it short, simple, and sweet. Now, please watch it to the very end, okay? When you're able to watch it to the very end, it helps you to, to keep sharing it to other people. It means you like the content that I am bringing out. So help your girl out and watch it to the very end. Now, I was with the online part of Chamberlain. They have about 19 or so locations, like campuses that you can go on. Go to chamberlain.edu and you will see all the other states that um, they have locations, like physical locations where you can go to. So if you are somebody that wants someone to stand before you and teach you, then you want to go to the campus. Now I saw a question that I want to answer here. So if you see this answer here, share it in all the Chamberlain groups so it can answer somebody's queries because I know every term or every semester, over 500 students apply to Chamberlain. That I know for sure because my last professor made mention of that, that she has about 500 students in her pathophysiology class. Anyways, back to the video, back to the point here. So someone asked that if I'm in the online part and I'm, I do the didactics, can I go to campus and do clinicals on campus? No, you can't do that, okay? You cannot do that. Now, let me explain to you how that works. See, when you are in a campus, like, since I'm in North Carolina, let me use North Carolina, okay? I was told by an advisor that if my address is North Carolina, I cannot be part of the online division, okay? The online program, I cannot be part of because for whatever reason, I don't know. But let's say you are in Charlotte campus, which is North Carolina, and you want to transfer to the online, which I know someone personally that did that. She transferred from the campus to the online. Now that is possible. I personally, I was supposed to start on campus in Charlotte but guess what i lived more than one hour from the campus now i had started a job at, my, at the nursing home by the time the nurses come in and i give report it's going to be like 7 30 a.m the route to from my job to the campus has heavy traffic and you can be in traffic for more than two hours. I tell you the truth. So there was no way I could be on campus at eight o'clock for classes. It was impossible. So what can I do? So I have a sister in Virginia who happens to have a Virginia address and a house there. So I use my sister's address and then I told them I had to go and live with my sister. This is my new address. I need to be part of the online. Now they check my address with the Virginia campus. It was very far. So I told them, let me be part of the online campus because I cannot drive that far from my sister's place to that campus. I think the campus in Virginia, the, 
Tyson Connor or something like that. I think that's the name. Anyways, that's not important. But I was able to transfer from the campus location to the online, changing my state. Okay? Changing my state. Now, the lady that I know who transitioned from the Charlotte campus to the um, the online and join our cohort. I don't know what process she went through. I don't know whether she did what I did by using somebody in Maryland's address because I, I know she mentioned to me that she knew somebody in Maryland, some family people in Maryland. Okay, so she was able to transfer also to join us in the, I think the three courses that was left. And then she graduated with us. Okay, so I know for a fact, I know for sure, you can transition from campus to online. And I know that when we started last year, early last year, one of the girls dropped from our class. And I found out from one of the ladies that she said the online is not for her. She would rather go to a campus. So she was transitioning from the online to the campus. Now, if you transition from online to the campus, your graduation, listen up, your graduation date is going to change. It's going to extend. Okay? Because the, the classroom people, they have the courses spread out. Because I heard that when you are with the campus people, when you are with the campus department, you go to clinicals every week. It might not be the case, but that's what I heard some of the students that we met at clinicals. That is what they said. Okay? They said they come to clinicals every week. So if what I'm saying is not the truth, then somebody lied to me. Okay? So it will extend your graduation date. That's something you have to keep in mind. When you transition from online to campus, your graduation date will change. It will go further down. So if you were going to graduate in 2025, it might go into 2026. Keep that in mind. All right? So I hope my information is helping you. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, share, comment, like. Let's go. So you can do that. But you cannot do some didactic online and go and do clinicals with the campus people that cannot happen i know that is not possible that is not possible so it's either you are with the campus fully or with the online fully you cannot cross breed okay you cannot do half here and half there that's not possible so i hope i answered your question sorry if i made the video too long but keep in mind that your graduation can change give or take whether you are going to the but the online division, you can graduate earlier than being in the campus. So bear that in mind. I hope I answered your question. If I did, thumbs up to us, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.